Buddies, that was the Peter Gabriel classic Sledgehammer. So let's start with the guitar. After the keyboard intro, the horns kick in and the guitar's simply playing an E flat on six on the A string. And just playing two notes up and down with the pick and just lightly resting my palm on the bridge to get that muted sound. Okay. So that's just on the intro. Now I think the guitar on the record is tuned down a semitone, so it's actually played in E. I'll tell you why in a moment. But so you don't have to retune your guitar, I've kept this to E flat. So I'm just playing six on the A string there for the intro. 
Then for the verse, just add in an extra note. So I'm just playing E flat, D flat, E flat on six to four to six. And the reason I thought that the guitar's tuned down because it sounds like on the record there's a little intervening note. So I think it plays a low note in between those two notes. So if you tune your guitar down, you could play that. Obviously in E flat, we can't go low enough to play the, the bottom note. But just playing that's fine. Nice and funky, okay. Then in the first part of the uh, song, it just goes to a C. I'll do anything you know. So I've got to C on three, okay, and then just played that once. I'll do anything you do. And then just again, just playing again a, a, a pattern featuring E flat and D flat. And then a stop on that. So. And then we're back into another verse. Just that two note pattern, okay? And then for the chorus, we just play I wanna be your sledge. So I'm just playing C to D flat on three to four on the A string. Your sledge hammer. And then one, so one and two and three and four, one and two and three and four. Okay, so the chords I'm basically played over there are sledgehammer. So I'm playing C minor to D flat to F minor. Okay, so though I'm not actually playing chords, that's basically what those notes are outlining. Okay, then we're back into verse and chorus. Again, just repeating those simple muted patterns. And then at the end, rather than, we're basically playing the same as the intro again, uh, but rather than playing a single note pattern, what we played earlier, I'm playing chords. So the chords I'm playing are an E flat. Two bars and a bar of B and a bar of A flat, so. Okay, and that sequence goes round and round. E flat minor, B, A flat. So that E flat minor, B, A flat goes round and round at the end of the song. Great tune, and next we'll take a look at the fantastic bass part. To get a really fat sound on the bass, I'm using a pitch pedal to add in an extra lower octave. Not quite as loud as the bass itself, mixed at about 60%, an octave below. To get a really kind of fat sound. And I'm also playing with a pick, I'd often play with fingers, just to get a nice attack, okay? So I'm playing da 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 so I'm just playing E flat on six to four, D flat to E flat. Again. The B on two, ba ba ba, to A sharp on one. Going to an A flat, I'm playing that higher and just adding a little fill in there. Just A flat, B flat, A flat, six, eight, six on the D string. Again, playing E flat to A flat. So six to six. And then that takes us into the verse. Great little bass riff. 
So uh, the first time, before the verse really kicks in, of that, never know what he sings there. Okay. First time I play E flat on six. Slide to G on 10. That's both on the A string. Then a B flat on eight. And this time I'm gonna play a C, don't always play that, on 10 on the D string. So six, 10, eight, 10 of the A and D strings. Then I'll play an E flat on eight on the G string, then go down an octave to an E flat on six, on six. So E flat on six on the A string, so eight on the G string, to six on the A string. Then again, sliding to G on 10, B flat on eight, slide to a D flat on 11, to C on 10 on the D string. So we've got and then this time I go to um, instead of going to that C I went to an E flat so I went 6 to 10 E flat to G B flat to E flat 8 to 8 on the D and G strings and then a little fill I'm just playing slide in G flat to F to E flat so that's 11 10 8 on the G string then we've got C on the D string on 10 slide back up to F and slide back down to E flat 10 to 8 so and then a little before going into the verse sliding from we've got um, C to B flat on 10 to 8 then we're into the verse. So just like we played before, I'm playing E flat to G to B flat, six, 10, eight to eight, E flat. Then again, that octave, eight to six, E flat. Slide to G on 10. B flat on eight, slide to 11, D flat to C. So, and then the second time, slight change, I'm playing, that's just the same, and then I'm playing E flat to E flat again. Slide to G, B flat, that's all kind of the same till now. And then I just play an F and slide down to C. So eight to three, and then to a D flat on four. Okay. A repeat of the first one. And then before going into the kind of little break section, um, that again, same. So this time, even simpler, I'm playing. That's just the same. A octave again. G to B flat again, 10 to 8. And then just playing. I'll be anything you need. So I'm playing that's all the 
the same and then just the E flat to F. Bum, ba, bum, ba, ba. So six to eight. I'll be, so just play the C there. On three. I'll be anything you And then just kind of alternating between a, an E flat and a D flat on six and four. I'll be anything you... Then we're back into reverse. Just... I wanna... Um, then that takes us... So it's all the same again. Now we're going into a chorus. Your sledgehammer, so I played C to D flat, three to four. Then F, E flat, F on eight and six on the A string. Your sledgehammer. again didn't play that little extra fill in that one just stop and have a steam back into reverse okay great fun to play and then just on the end kind of improvising slightly um, just adding just playing an, an E flat D flat over the E flat chord and then a B and an A sharp on so we've got two bars of that so two one and two and then an A flat again I'm just kind of slightly improvising now at the end having some fun because the chords are just E flat minor to B to A flat and the extra notes I'm adding are just a, an A sharp there so and and then sometimes going just that little fill to take us back is a nice A flat B flat B natural And that just goes round on the end, or you could play octaves. Four, six, six, eight, seven, nine, nine, eleven. So. Have some fun with it but it's a great song love it so next we'll just take a look at those little bit of bonus keyboards that i put in there so we've got this great keyboard intro that also crops up at the end of the song and what i'm playing is i'm playing all the black keys i'm playing a flat d flat g flat a flat d flat e flat so, so I'll play it quickly. And then I'm going, go down D flat, A flat, G flat, D flat, E flat. And then the first time, just a little, little wiggle on the pitch bend. Just, just, just giving it a rise lower. So we've got, Yeah. Then, okay, so I'm doing that. And then um, we've got that repeats. And then just on the last one. So just the last one I'm playing A flat, D 
D flat, E flat before the horns kick in. Okay, so for the horns, we've got and play. Okay, and I doubled up on octave, so you've got. So I just kind of doubled the uh, the, the voices there. So I'm playing B flat, A flat, G flat, E flat, D flat to E flat. Then I've got E flat, F, E flat. But I did that with a pitch wheel. Okay, or you could just play the notes and then again. There we go. Same again. Now this time I've got I'm going E flat, F, G flat, and holding that E flat again. Then again, G flat, A flat, B flat. Just holding those notes. And then just adding on top of that, making it into a seventh chord by putting a D flat, E flat, B flat on top. I think that's more of an organ sound of the record, but just so I could do it on one keyboard, I'm just kind of just. Okay, and that's a little bit of extra keyboards there that I put on just for a bit of fun at the start of what is a great song, Sledgehammer. So thanks for watching and enjoy.